boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves another discussion for you for Pokemon Journeys. We are going to be talking about episode 38 and revisiting episode 39, so without further ado, let's get started. So for episode 38, the title has been revealed as the Colossal Restoration and the Fossil Pokemon. And the summary goes as follows, Ash and Go are attending the Great Fossil Pokemon Exhibit being held at the Museum of Science in Pewter City, and Go's childhood friend Chloe has come with them since this can be of help with her research project. The three of them decide to join a fossil digging activity overflowing with romanticism where they'll be able to restore fossils to living Pokemon if they find some that are in good condition. Go searches like a madman since he really wants to get a fossil Pokemon, but what he ends up finding is a bit of secret amber that has some Pokemon DNA contained in it. What kind of Pokemon will be reborn from this? So sadly, it looks like this episode is not taking place in Alola, as some of us had hoped that it would be a two-parter Alola episode. Nah, we're going right back to Kanto, and we are going to Pewter City for this episode. And as far as Secret Amber, that definitely, definitely screams Aerodactyl. That 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt refers to Aerodactyl. And once again, I believe this is where Go is actually going to get himself an Aerodactyl, because if we remember back in the second opening of Pokemon Journeys, we see a very brief scene where it involves Ash and Go battling against one another, and we see Aerodactyl in action from Go's side. And if we also take a look at this next screenshot here, which was featured in a big preview last month, we see Aerodactyl in action here, and I believe that is the Aerodactyl that will be featured in this episode, and Go will in fact catch that Aerodactyl. Now let's move on to episode 39, where it's Ash vs. B, Overcome Octoloth. Now, as for the summary here, we have a new addition here that I want to touch base with you guys on, and it goes as follows. Ash wants a rematch with Gym Leader B from the Gower region, who utterly defeated him in their official Pokemon World Championships battle, so he has gone to the Cyanwood Gym in the Johto region, where she's currently training. B accepts his challenge, and the battle starts, with Go and Cyanwood Gym's Gym Leader, Chuck, watching. Ash and Riolu are burning with a desire to win this rematch and attempt a certain counter strategy against Graplock's Octolock, which is what defeated them last time. How will this match go? So we actually have ourselves a returning gym leader being the fighting gym leader Chuck from the Johto region. That is going to be very, very interesting. Now, what sort of a role is he going to have here in this episode? Is he perhaps B's sparring partner? Are they perhaps having a match for the Pokemon World Championships ranking? Who knows? But this right here definitely, definitely has my juices flowing even more now because it's good to see old Chucky return in the anime. And from the way that it's worded, it sounds like it's going to be a one versus one match. It's going to be Riolu versus Graplock. And because they're not in the Gawa region, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to be seeing Dynamax in action after all. As I had speculated the last time I made a video on this type of subject but this is definitely something i am very much looking forward to what are your guys's comments about this and oh, ladies and gentlemen with all that being said that's gonna be a wrap up here for this video i just want to say thank you guys for much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video you know what to do leave a like subscribe and most importantly guys smash it up in the comments down below because i love 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 hearing from you guys always have always will that ain't never gonna change baby you can believe that Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night depending on your time zone. And your boy, we'll see you guys in the next one.